I mentioned in a vlog a while ago that Halloween came from Ireland and a lot of people wanted me to expand on that. So here's that video. This is going to be a mix of terms in Irish. I'm going to share with you the Halloween related terms as Gaelga. And I'm going to share with you some of the history arising from Halloween in Ireland. The long and short of it is that Halloween came from Ireland. And it did surprise me to know that people did not know this. We learned this in school. Now my memory of what I learned in school is fuzzy at best. So I've spent the last couple of days doing some research and finding out some more specific things that I can tell you about how exactly Halloween originated in Ireland, England and Scotland. So first of all, the Irish term for Halloween is Iha Hauna. And that actually means the Eve of Samhain. And Samhain is the Irish word for November. In Celtic Ireland, about 2000 years ago, Samhain was the division of the year between the lighter half of the year, summer, and the darker half, winter. It was believed that at Samhain, the division between this world and the other world was at its thinnest, allowing spirits to freely pass through. According to John Gilroy in the book Celtic Fire Festival, the Festival of Samhain marked the end of the Celtic year and the beginning of a new one, so it was essentially the Celts New Year's Eve. Also, the Celts believed that night preceded day, so any festivities were held on the eve of Samhain, hence Iha Hauna, which literally means night of Samhain. Samhain was the most important of the four Celtic festivals. It was all based around the sun. The Celts lit fires, called winter fires, in order to help the weakening sun in its journey across the sky. Now we just set the clocks back and complain that there's no stretch in the units. <laughs> As you know, they approached winter and the sun got weaker during the day, uh, they believed that the Lord of the Underworld, unfettered by control of the sun, could now freely walk the earth with spirits and fairies and ghosts. So the word, Irish word for ghost is Taivsha. During the festival of Samhain, a couple of things happened. The family's ancestors were honored and invited home while harmful spirits were warded off. And this is why I really wanted to make this video is because the comment that kind of most got my attention was this one, which asks like when Ireland started dressing up in costumes for Halloween. This is why this is really interesting because this is the big bit that came from Ireland. On this night, they believed that spirits from the other world could freely walk around, good and bad. So they're inviting their ancestors home, they're trying to honor them, but with that comes negative spirits. What they did was they dressed as spirits themselves in order to disguise themselves and avoid harm. So they put on masks, they wore costumes. That's where the tradition of Halloween costumes comes from from Ireland. So it's not like we just decided one year we were like, you know what we should do? Dress up in Halloween costumes <laughs> like everyone else does. Uh, you all got it from us. You're welcome. So the word, Irish word for bonfire is Chinna Knov. Halloween bonfires also came from this festival of Samhain. The bones of slaughtered livestock were cast into a communal fire and household fires were extinguished and started again from this bonfire. Again, representing like the end of the old, the start of the new. Food was prepared for the living and the dead, and then the food for the ancestors who obviously couldn't eat it was shared with those less well off. So Christianity kind of comes into play at some point. They incorporated the honoring of the dead into the Christian calendar with All Saints Day, which is November 1st. Um, and known as All Hallows. Halloween would have been All Hallows Eve in the Christian calendar and eventually led to Halloween. The Irish word for pumpkin is pumpkin. This is interesting because this didn't come from Ireland at all. I wanted to get a pumpkin actually for this video and carve it. I couldn't find a pumpkin anywhere. So note to self, you have to record your Halloween videos like two weeks in advance because pumpkins sell out in Ireland now. But this is a new thing. Like the whole pumpkin carving thing is totally new to Ireland. Like it actually came from America. The Irish, as you may or may not know, emigrated to America in huge numbers during the 19th century, especially around the time of the famine in the 1840s. The Irish carried all their Halloween traditions to America, and that's why America has Halloween. You're welcome. <laughs> However, the Americans did blend their own traditions in and did bring their own spice to the mix. For example, the American harvest time tradition of carving pumpkins. The Irish word for fairy is Sheog, Nataivsha, 
and the Sheogs needed some sort of appeasement in the form of ritual offerings on the night. It was believed that as long as the offering was forthcoming, the ghosts were happy and benevolent, but if the offering was withheld, the ghosts get mad, basically. <laughs> Bad luck would descend on the household for the entire year. From my research, there's some belief that some vestiges of that tradition may have survived in the custom of trick-or-treat. So children dressed as spirits and fairies and witches invite a household to make a donation or face the consequences. Treat is the ritual offering, while the trick would have represented the consequences of inadequately appeasing your ancestral ghosts on the night of Ihahauna. There's a lot more to dive into about Halloween, but that is the gist of it. For example, the early Irish manuscripts, according to John Gilroy, are littered with references to the magical significance of Samhain, of the festival of Samhain. It marked the end of the fighting and hunting season, for example, for the warrior troop known as the Fianna. The Fianna were basically a mythological fighting troop or army, if you want to call it, led by Fionn McCool, um, and they didn't fight in the winter. <laughs> Because it was too cold. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that they, there's a better explanation for that. There's an, a number of Irish mythological stories that centre around Samhain, um, a number of Irish mythological figures like Queen Maeve who have links to the Festival of Samhain. But that's definitely another video. So I hope that that shed some light. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a history teacher <laughs> and I can't really remember what we learned in school, but that ties with what I remember. Halloween came from All Hallows' Eve. Ihahauna was where the dead could cross over. And honestly, it was so surprising to me that people didn't know this. I think when maybe when you learn something as a kid, you just assume everyone knows it, but I just didn't. I was like, I can't believe. Halloween, like, that's why people dress as, doesn't everyone not know that's why people dress as, in costume, is to hide themselves from the harmful spirits who could freely walk the earth on this night. Does everybody not know that? So yeah, it turns out that not everybody knows that. So Halloween is an Irish, pagan Celtic festival and nothing to do with Christianity whatsoever which is so funny that it's like been not only incorporated into the Christian calendar sort of but also that Christians are so into this I would have thought it would have been the antithesis is that how you pronounce that? of Christianity you know because it's all about paganism and spirits and witches and bonfires excuse my language but I like fuck with pagan stuff so hard. When I was growing up in Mayo, Halloween was like a big thing. I remember that when I was a kid or teen, early teenager, there were huge bonfires like in the middle of the town. Even as we got to older teenagers where the bonfires were like more about getting drunk and shipped and someone, it was always a big thing to have a bonfire every year for Halloween. There are certain things like that that I feel I was much more in touch with when I lived in the country than I am here in Dublin. Like I haven't been to a Halloween bonfire in years. I uh, Probably 10 years actually. And that's, oh, that's so depressing now, is it allowed? I actually had a witch a real life Irish pagan Wiccan witch on my podcast recently, the Storytime podcast, uh, which I'm hoping to release very soon. I'll put a link down in the description. Long story short, I wish we were all more in touch with our pagan roots sometimes. And uh, setting a few fires and <laughs> appeasing a few spirits. Also, the Americans contributed pumpkins. I was wondering how the hell they were involved and it is literally just the uh, Americans carved pumpkins in the autumn. <laughs> the Irish Americans are like, we'll take that <laughs> and we'll send it back <laughs> to Ireland. So this is a totally different video to the kind of stuff I normally do. Every time that I do a new type of video, I'm reminded of an email I got where a man told me that it really annoyed him that he couldn't figure out what my channel was about. <laughs> so this one's for you, Tony. 